This video will show how to add Adobe Acrobat or another PDF compatible application to ScanSnap. So while ScanSnap iX1500 comes with ScanSnap Home software to organize and access content, some operators may prefer to scan to another application instead. In this video, I'll add Adobe Acrobat as a scan to application, add a new profile to select it from the touch panel, and then I'll demonstrate how it all works. We'll start by adding the application by first launching ScanSnap Home, selecting Preferences from the top menu, and selecting Application here on the left. In the new window, I see some applications that have already been added, so I'm going to click Add or Remove, and then from the new window, I'll click Add. In this window, ScanSnap is going to ask for the path where the Adobe application resides on my computer. I could browse for it if I knew where it was, but I'm just going to right click once on the Acrobat shortcut that's on my desktop and select Properties to locate it. And since I'm already here, I'm just going to copy paste its full path right from here directly into the field in ScanSnap. Since I did it this way, I'll need to delete these quotations on either side to keep it valid. So now I'm going to name my new application exactly what it is to keep it simple because I'll need to find it later. Now, because I know that Adobe Acrobat specializes in PDF content, I'm going to remove JPEG as a file format when using it with ScanSnap. And then I click OK. And now Adobe Acrobat appears as an application. So I'm going to click Close. And now Adobe Acrobat is another application available for ScanSnap to use. So I'm going to click OK. Now at this point, Adobe Acrobat has been added to ScanSnap, but I'm not quite done yet because I now need to make a profile for the touch panel so I can select it when I want to scan to Acrobat later. I do this by clicking Scan in ScanSnap Home, and then clicking Add Profile from the Scan window. This opens the Add New Profile Settings window, and I'm going to pick a profile from the list of profile templates shown here on the left-hand side. Just to keep things easy, I'm going to pick a template that's already pretty close to what I want to do to save some steps, and then I'll pick an icon that makes it stand out from other profiles. Also, I'm going to rename my profile Adobe Acrobat, and I can add a fuller description here if I want to. Now here's the important part. In this lower section, I'm going to click the drop-down menu to select the Adobe Acrobat application that I added earlier. And with that now selected, the Send To field is pointing to Adobe Acrobat, and the profile is now complete. I could make some other setting changes to customize this profile even further, but for now, I have what I need. So I'll click Add, and in a moment, the new profile I just created will appear automatically on the scan window, as well as on the physical touch panel on the iX1500. So let's give it a try. I'll place some paper in the feeder, tap the new Adobe Acrobat profile I just created, and then tap Scan. Instead of scanning to ScanSnap Home, ScanSnap will now launch Adobe Acrobat instead, and the scan will appear in Acrobat's PDF viewer. And that's it. For more information about ScanSnap, come visit us at ScanSnap Community.